Hey everybody, Logan here. And you know you expected this video. If you've been watching this channel, it's you're not surprised. You're not surprised at all that, that, that this happened. That... That this happened. <laughs> I, I posted a video about it, and... Uh, I, I actually was was debating whether or not I was gonna get it to the last couple days I was like I really don't need it it's just it's just adding one more switch to the collection and and do I really need it no I don't really need it it's another two hundred dollars I, I can't afford it should I do I I could save and I did it I did uh, I wasn't, like I said, I was really debating. My wife just said, do it. <laughs> and I went, I'll think about it. And then I did. I woke up this morning, ordered it for an in-store pickup. And um, yeah, I was going to get it at, uh, at the, the my local game store that I normally go to. Uh, they, as of yesterday, they didn't even know if they were going to get it. So I was like, oof. And then I tried to buy it online on a couple other places and couldn't get it. So I logged on to BestBuy.com this morning and it allowed me to buy it. I bought it before the store opened and in-store pickup. Picked it up first thing this morning. And here we go. I don't know how tough it's going to be. I remember the Coral one being pretty tough to pick up uh, when it first came out. But locally, I've seen the Coral. Um pretty often. I've seen the Coral more often than any of the other versions, but I'm still seeing list price for Coral, you know, through through game pricing apps to be anywhere from $250 to $300, which I don't get. So, especially if you can just walk into a store and pick it up. So, you know what this means. We're going to unbox this. And probably compare it to the, the gray one, and I, I still have to do the, the system uh, transfer and all that other stuff. So, let's just open this thing. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here. Alrighty, so there we go. Uh, there's the box, and wink. Oh, <laughs> I got scared there. Saw a big knife. Oh wait, that's right. These don't need it. Nintendo doesn't put that stuff. Alrighty. Actually, you know what? Because otherwise. I'm gonna damage the box because I am terrible at not damaging boxes when they have those little flippy tabbies. Uh, what? Why are why are we fighting? Okay. So the big debate about this, even after watching the Nintendo Minute, has been whether or not this is a blue or a purple. Now, I did adjust the light because the light had it a little, um, I don't know, it's been washing out the colors, it seems, because it's been a little intense. So I, I moved around the light to maybe get a better, I guess, depiction of the color. And honestly, what I'm seeing on screen and what you're seeing here, it's a much closer depiction. But this is... That's that's a that's a close to an indigo. Uh, actually, we have right near me, and I just grabbed it. The Indigo Game Boy Advance, if you guys remember that. So let's let's compare. See how the indigo is a bit more purple, 
so where this is a bit more blue but that is very very similar so calling this a blue okay but it's very close to indigo so i i do like this color quite a bit the indigo does have a bit more purpley ish to it so yeah this from, from what i'm seeing as i'm looking at the, the the video as well looking at the screen watching this it's very similar from how i'm viewing it to what it is in real life as being in, in real life as a, in, in person i should say an indigo very close to indigo but it's it's bluer it, it's bluer than it is purple but it's uh, it's very close to indigo so even the box makes it look a bit bluer than the actual device itself and so and here we have the gray one now I do have uh, you get it, uh, trying to take this off without breaking it that's the case I have on it you can see I'm not gonna put the the teal the teal and gray is one thing but teal and indigo is another so everything else all the buttons seem to be the same exact color it's white as you can see I put the 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 toppers on the sticks to protect them everything else looks to be exactly the same I don't see any differences or variation in console design everything else seems to be identical they didn't change anything whatsoever besides the color so there you go now one thing I'm going to do before I, I I post this video is do a console system transfer so if there's any differences or any issues going on with the system I can well let you guys know before I finalize this video for you so for you it's just gonna take a matter of seconds where for me it's might take a little while so yeah alrighty so uh, a little update as you can see i'm doing the the system transfers right now i've got them both plugged in charging it's going to take a little bit for these to be uh completely transferred but everything's going a-okay no issues no problems everything seems to be fine so well uh let's let's continue all righty so for those of you who don't know uh once you do your uh, I, I guess your profile transfer uh, it transfers all your save data from one switch to the next but not your games so I'm actually re-downloading the majority of the not all the games but the majority of the games that I was actually uh, playing currently on my switch Lite onto the new one and a few games that I do enjoy popping in or, or booting up from time to time for a quick session for example like as you can see I've got uh, I don't know if you can see it outrun and then R type those I just like to play here and there so this one is now officially being retired oh, I don't know why I decided to do that but I did decide to look for what case uh, what cases I had and I remember having a couple where this flimsy one was pooey no and then I have this one, which the color just looks terrible on that one. So I have the clear one. So what we're going to do, uh, it is charging, but I can plug it back in for a moment. Oop. And what I'm going to do is put you back in sleep mode. this one on now this one's a very snug case 
but it's the one I do prefer. Okay, so I think it was better to get one in, one side in than the other. The only thing about these silicone cases, they tend to change, I guess, color. No, that I think I want to put the top in first for this one because these are always the ones that kind of fight you because they're a little snug. Okay, let's let's not plug in the bottom on this one then. Let's do the top for. No, don't, don't. It see, it likes to fight, and I don't want to cause any problems with the console. There we go, and then. There we go. Okay. So this is what's going to... Uh, I used this for a while on my gray one before I got the, the Mumba, which was that teal grip. The only thing is, like I said, these clear ones, the, the silicone ones, tend to... Whoops, sorry. Tend to get a little, I guess, yellowed over time. So I might end up replacing it. But for now... This is it. So, there we go. That is my current switch light. I am going to put the caps back on there. I got to see. Hopefully, I have uh, some black ones around here, which I'm sure I have the Hyperkin ones. And then, there we go. So, that'll be my switch light. Now, thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Uh, drop it in the comments below. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video and tell everybody how awesome this is see look how awesome okay i'll stop that <laughs> thank you guys so much uh remember head on over to redbandanagaming.com uh check us out on our socials again hit that subscribe button i know i do that broken record thing but please it help us out yay thank you guys so much for watching like we always say be legendary thanks again and yes this is my knee this is my knee because I had to move the camera down to an area close to the plugs and the outlets. So I'm sitting on the floor. So yes, I don't care. I had to. It wasn't convenient because the plugs. But <laughs> whatever, be legendary.